All right, I want to clean up this backing plate. Give it a little scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <coughs> Holy cow. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what's in this stuff, but I'm fairly certain it can alter your DNA. <laughs> so it's a combination of things. This is wicked stuff. And I should probably ventilate the area by opening a window as soon as my feet are back on the ground. Okay, the window's open. I have reverted back to the original plan of installing the master cylinder, the brake lines, the brake hoses, and the wheel cylinders, as opposed to the plan I had proposed last week where I was just gonna install the master cylinder. I've thought about it, it's weighed on my mind a little bit. I think I'm gonna stick to the original plan. That's the best way to proceed. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I haven't accomplished a whole lot, but I do have the passenger side front brake drum uh, disassembled and the wheel cylinder is out. Um, this brake drum, that was not easy to get off. So let's take a look at that now. Ah, shoot. All right, these seem to be stuck on here pretty good. So I am literally just gonna move it back and forth and beat on the thing from side to side so I can see if I can get it to come off. That took much longer than I anticipated, but we got it off. Oh man, I'm sure there's prettier ways of taking off brake drums. Oh man, man that doesn't want to give me it. <laughs> okay, I guess I could just do this. Oh man. I just don't know how I feel about that operation. Anyway, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about cars. Okay, I'm back with a new development here. I'm getting ready to do some work on the other side of the suspension, on the driver's side. And I'm gonna have to get a few more tools, I think, to do that properly. I mean, I have a breaker bar and impact sockets, but I'm thinking I'm gonna need a little something more, which definitely cuts into the budget. Um, well, here, let me just show you. Now, when I started this vlog, I said my two most limited resources were going to be time and money. And I'm actually doing pretty good on time. I'm investing a good bit in it. Obviously, the biggest restriction is money, which we all have that issue. But uh, I give myself a, a budget of about $150 to $165 a month to work on this thing, which I could get a good bit done. But the problem is, is I'm trying to find a balance between parts for anybody that's new to this stuff is, is turning into a bit of a burden. Here's what I'm looking at. I'm tired of fighting with just a breaker bar and impact sockets. So I need a good impact wrench and that's gonna drop me $100 right there. So you have to find a balance between buying tools and parts, but this is one tool I've decided I definitely need. Thank you. I was hoping with doing this vlog that I could show that newbies or guys that are interested in it could get into it and accomplish big things, but access to tools, that is one thing that I have not figured out yet. I'm fortunate enough that I had a lot of tools and then I have like my dad has a lot of tools and then there are other people I can borrow stuff from. So that's one hurdle that's it's definitely a big hurdle that you don't think about up front. Now, trust me, I absolutely checked 
Craigslist and some other places uh, for probably about a month before deciding to buy this. I'm very much an avid. If I can find it used and it's a good deal, I will buy it. But pretty much all I could find as far as impact wrenches went was um, air impact wrenches. The reason I bought this is because of the work I have to do on the driver's side suspension. First off, an impact wrench is just a good tool to have laying around the garage. But this suspension, um, I just, with these bigger castle nuts and stuff, yeah, I, can, I just feel like it's gonna be tough to get a breaker bar in here. Um, I, I just, it's time for me to have an impact wrench. So this lower control arm is gonna have to come off. Uh, I don't know if this upper ball joint needs replaced from the way this thing was banged around, but this stabilizing link here on the sway bar needs replaced. That was bent pretty bad. I think it's actually snapped off uh, down here on the bottom. Uh, so that needs to come off. But anyway, to start doing this kind of work, I want to have an impact wrench. <coughs> Holy cow. I'm gonna take, take those and we'll pop these springs off. Uh, these little guys right here. Let's soak all those in some of this cleaning vinegar since I'm on a cleaning vinegar kick. Yeah, let's soak them in cleaning vinegar to see what that does to the rust on those things. I'm not gonna do all this stuff, but uh, I'm kinda curious about that, so check that out. Uh, on manana. So these have been soaking for a little over 24 hours now and we're gonna see how they came out. And I mean I cleaned them up okay. I was really more interested in these pins. Um, need to hit these with the wire brush once. Hang on. He cleaned up okay. Like I said, they've only been soaking for 24 hours, but um, the rust is definitely coming off of them or it's been neutralized. I'm not sure what the effect of the vinegar is. I will eventually replace these springs, but that's going to be down the road. So um, I am going to get, after I get the wheel cylinders in, the brakes are going to go back together as is for now. Um, and down the road, once I get closer to having this thing on the road, um, I'll address this stuff. But yeah. Pretty cool. So it was another quick week, that's all I have, but I'm making progress and that's what's important. I think next week I'm gonna dive more into my division of labor plan as far as how I'm gonna utilize my time better. Looking forward to finishing up the brakes. It's probably gonna be a couple more episodes at least. And November we should be onto the suspension and the transmission. So that's all I got for this week. Take care.